Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Makulu Linux. This is going to be the last video I put out um, before release. This is pretty much the final build now. Uh, I'm just, uh, I've already compiled it, already tested, everything seems to be going smooth. So uh, this is it. I'm just going to show you a couple of things that have changed since the last video I made. Um, there weren't any drastic changes. The menu's undergone a little bit of a rearrangement with the system icons um, at the bottom right and the search bar bottom left and of course the categories on the left. Um, the other major change is that we included Docky. Now uh, we've been having issues with Cairo Doc and the um, 4.11 XFCE panel packages. I actually we've come to the conclusion that it seems to be a bug on Cairo Doc itself. On 4.10 it works, um, but on 4.11 panel packages it seems to be causing issues with the system. So I would highly recommend being very very careful if you plan on removing Docky and adding Cairo Doc. There's no guarantee that it will work smoothly. Um, I'm hoping they put out a patch for this at some point. It's not really something I'm going to uh, or can really fix unless I suppose I could dig around in their source code, but there's no time for that um, So yeah, hopefully they'll have a fix out for that at some point, but for the time being I have included Docky It's very simple to use uh, It's on your favorites. You can just click on it um, And it will ask do you want to include do you want to add Docky if you say yes It will add it to your startup as well if you say no it will remove it from your startup you say yes, the docky panel comes up, it's a very simple panel, add, add icons or launches to it and um, it's set to IntelliHide so if you actually open up a file manager or something it will auto hide itself, you can just pull up your mouse to the top and you can pull it above windows, if you actually move anything out of its way it will pop up again. Um, of course you guys know uh, Compass, easy on off switch. Um, so yeah, the build's running beautifully. It's been uh, tested extensively. Um, the Apart from the dock issues, um, there are very other minor issues which I'll put in the release notes. Uh, but apart from a couple of really, really minor um, things, actually two with the dock, um, the build is, is running it is fantastically fast. Beautiful, it, it's just stunning. Stunning, 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 stunning to the point where I literally have decided that um, if this build is popular, if people love this build and I get a lot of positive feedback about this build, I may actually consider doing another desktop environment based on this. Um, so yeah, that, that'll all be up to the users. This At this point in time, this was kind of a once-off build, you know, it's got a five-year lifetime and We'll put out patches for the five years and, and you know, uh, that will run uh, along with the Ubuntu patches. Um, it will all really depend on the users at the end of the day. If this build is popular, which I'm, I'm almost certain it will be, like almost 100% certain it will be, and the users love it, you know, I'll make follow-up builds and, and so forth. Um, the other thing I want to do, just point out, is that uh, due to due to um i don't know actually what's happening with our power grid this weekend escom who's uh our our main electricity dudes um they have put out uh notices on the news they put out notices in the newspaper pretty much everywhere saying that they're going to be having um rolling blackouts throughout south africa this weekend so there'll be load shedding so the electricity will be pretty much on off the whole weekend I don't know when it's going to be on and when it's going to be off because they never really keep to the schedules they put out um, therefore I'm going to uh, release this I'm going to play it by ear and, and release it when when I can um, I know I originally said Sunday and I'll try and stick to Sunday but um, you know if 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 I yearn sort of that Sunday mostly we're going to have no electricity then obviously I'm gonna have to maybe put it out a little earlier maybe on Saturday night or uh, Monday morning either or 
Um, it will really just depend on on what what ESCOM's plans are this weekend, and and like I said, I'll play it by ear. Mostly, I'll get the info off Facebook because that's kind of most updated to when it's going off and when it's coming on. <clears throat> As a precaution, I was going to actually start uploading the ISOs on Saturday, but I think I'll probably start uploading it tonight already because it takes me um, anything from seven to ten hours to upload a mirror. And you know, sometimes these things go to like 80% and then it bombs out and I have to restart. So I don't want to be caught on a Saturday or Sunday and I don't really have the ISO uploaded. I mean, I was going to wait until Saturday because that way I can minimize any kind of updates the user has to download. But uh, that can't be helped now. And besides, the, up the, the updates for a couple of days shouldn't be too much. Maybe a couple of kilobytes, a few megabytes at most. But um, yeah, so this build, I'm going to start uploading it now. I'm actually busy with the first mirror already. So uh, the, 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 the release is still scheduled for this weekend. I'm just not exactly sure when this weekend. Um, it's a good idea to sort of just maybe keep an eye on the site between Saturday night and Monday morning. It, it will go live at any point between then. I will... All the, all the people that are registered on the website, I will s send out an email to notify them when the build has gone live. So if you're registered, you'll get an email or should get an email. Keep an eye on your spam box because I know a lot of the emails do go to spam boxes. Another thing is, you know, I'm quite limited on file file mirrors. Although the mirrors I, I have are unlimited, but still uh, I am looking for file hosts and especially people that can host torrents. So if there's somebody out there or the people out there that can host a torrent, because I really cannot on the South African um, lines, they are far too far too slow. Um, contact me. There, there are two email addresses you can contact me at support at mcluelinux.com or uh, my Gmail, which is raymajark at gmail.com. Or if you want, you can contact me via Skype. Raymajark is my um, ID. Um, and this is... This is actually, you know, it's not something I can delay on because release is literally two days away. So if you wanna, if you wanna host an ISO, you can host an ISO. Obviously, um, you must be prepared that it's gonna be a lot of people downloading. Um, so it's going to eat bandwidth. If you have un unlimited bandwidth and you've got a decent speed line, and you feel like uh, contributing to the project by hosting a file, uh, hosting an ISO, then then contact me. But please do it as soon as possible. I'll send you a link to the ISO and you can, uh, you know, upload it to your host and then obviously send me a link back or, if, you know, we can set up an FTP account or you can set up an FTP account and I'll upload it, whichever way. But um, if anybody is interested in hosting an ISO, it's really, really urgent to contact me before Saturday because um, after that it's, it's pretty much, you know, too late. So um, yeah, that's that's another thing, and uh, also I just want to thank the users for being patient. Um, I know it's been uh, <laughs> a long months to wait, especially you know after I started making publicly known that this build is going live. So um, thank you for the patience, and uh, thank you for all the support, and uh, all the YouTube replies, and all the feedback via emails and and the website and so forth. Um, it's been a nice journey making this build. Um, I very, very much enjoyed it. Thank you to the testers for assisting me. They've pointed out a couple of things that I would have missed. Um, although I don't usually miss much, but I have obviously missed a few things that they pointed out. And um, so, yeah, thanks thanks a bunch to them. They, they're always a great bunch of guys to, to, to work with. And... Uh, Thanks to everybody else that helped me. I mean, uh, I know a couple of times I've been stuck and, and people have helped me out, you know, here and there, a lot of the forums and, and chat channels and so forth. So, yeah, it's been an amazing journey. I uh, hope this release lives up to, up to the hype and that you guys love it and enjoy it. And I uh, hope, uh, you know, a lot of spin-offs come from this in the future where I can build onto this. But, yeah, um, this is Shark from Akulu Linux. Um, signing out next time uh, you'll hear me is probably with the next bold that I'll make so cheers